Boom. All right, episode six, The Witcher. We just killed the cockatrice with Siegfried in the sewers to get out of jail. So, and then some assassins came after us, and he recommended we go to a detective. So we're gonna go to the detective and get our stuff back from Jethro, and then we're gonna run around the city picking up everything there is to do. I hope it's not night. It's His night. Name is Temple Quarter. Whores, murderers, and beggars. Salamandra's base must be near. Bros hating on Vizima. Dude hates Vizima. Hmm, interesting. The private eye Siegfried mentioned could be helpful. Have to start somewhere. Man, it's kind of crazy that it's right here. <laughs> Might as well, you know, stop in. Like I said, we'll get our stuff someday, eventually. We just have to rob this man first. Oh, there was a book. Um, uh, nice wardrobe. Nice wardrobe, kid. Dude's got a flint collection going on. Useless. <laughs> I love the way he sleeps. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? I'm Geralt of Rivia. A warrior like no other. Your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm looking for some information. Is this where I'll find it? Good question. I used to work for the lawyers, Kadringer and Fenn. Satisfied? The names mean nothing to me, but I'll assume that's a recommendation. As a professional, you understand information has its price. I'll pay. I'm all ears, White Wolf. Uh, Codringer and Fen is from the books. It was an investigation duo. It, I think it was just like a regular guy, and then it was a... He wasn't a dwarf. It was a midget in a wheelchair with a crossbow. So, they were like the stuff for private investigators. So, if he did work with them. What's it like being a private good. eye? Lousy work in a town full of dirt and conspiracies. I spend most of my time spying on nobles and rich burghers who cheat on their wives. You can't imagine what people are capable of. I don't think I care to imagine. I recently followed Morton, commander of Faltest's Palace Guards. Heard of him? No. I don't think so. I saw him in the stables with two young pages. You wouldn't believe. I've heard enough. I'm all ears, White Wolf. I'm interested in the people who wear salamander Don't make pins. me pay right now. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. Azar Javed. Name mean anything to you? I've heard it. Why are you looking for Javed? Let's just say my boots do a rendezvous with his ass. Usually I charge for information, but I'll give you this bit for free. I've been working on that case for a while. Go on. Azar Javed, a Zerikanian sorcerer, leads Salamandra. He's more dangerous than a pit of kickimores, but unfortunately out of my reach. With his contacts and resources, he's got almost free reign in the city. I got a taste of his abilities. Anything else? I suspect Salamandra has built a large-scale operation, with gold simply greasing the wheels of their political ambitions. They're conducting genetic experiments, dangerous ones. Regular thugs wouldn't have the knowledge hmm. or means. Who's working for Javit? Any guesses? The captain of the guard who dropped that investigation disappears nights. Maybe you can squeeze some information out of him. Is that all? We might have one more lead. The city guards detain someone who could provide information. The guards at the city jail? Yeah. Find a way to question that prisoner. In the meantime, learn what you can from the guards. Count on it. People open up to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> His information could be priceless. Good luck. Know anything more about the Salamander prisoner? He may be one of the leaders. Though in this town, the guards capture pawns while the big fish swim free. We'll know for certain once you question him. We'll see. Uh, just one thing. I think you're being followed. Any suggestions? Oh, God. Wait here a while. Make them nervous. Surprise those who want to surprise you. I'll leave at midnight. Do I... 
Do I have to? I'm not in the best shit. I don't have any of my stuff. The Witcher is taking his time. He must have left a different way. No matter. Seems true. I assume the trap is set. Indeed. Tend to your tasks in the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent. Yo, Azar and the professor. This is what I was talking about. I'm not ready for this. Mom! I never hurt a soul. I'm just a simple Guards. You shall protect me. Yo, Siegfried's here too. Don't worry, I'll go get the other... Mm, ruffians. I couldn't, <laughs> like, ne'er dwells. Thanks, guys. That was pretty cool. Now, let's go get all of our stuff from, uh, Oh my god, you know what? I, I, I deserve it. I need to kill at least one of them. That's only fair. Die, bastard! It's only fair. There, alright. I did my portion of the work. See, it's not like I got the XP anyway, you know. Shut up, guys. All you do is complain. Oh, notice board. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, let's see, he wants ten wolves, three, yeah, three Echinops, Roots, three Algul Marrow, oh, that's for Coxdean, Stray Dogs, <laughs> the, gra the Grave Digger wants us to kill six Stray Dogs, and Siegfried wants ten, yeah, ten Drowned Dead Tongues. Well, I guess we're getting all of our side quests. Probably not even close to all of them, but you know. Yo, Vincent. You're free, but you still need to observe the quarantine. Meaning? Don't leave the temple quarter. You must be kidding. <laughs> we keep a close eye on you, Witchers. Didn't I hear you say that everyone's equal? What is it, Witcher? When would he have said that? Do you handle monsters too? I'd rather not waste my men on that. I'd pay anyone who kills a monster. Just bring proof. What pays best? Right now, my budget includes reward money for the cockatrice in the sewers, and for some bloodthirsty plant that kills people in the swamp. I can prove I killed the cockatrice. Impressive. That's 400 Oren's reward. Well deserved. Okay, okay, 400 Orans. Uh... How's the Salamandra investigation going? Patience, Witcher. All will be explained tonight. Any way I can help? Tonight? Stay clear of the warehouses and the slums. It's a sensitive case that doesn't require your sword. Just yet. The warehouses? You don't intend to go there alone? It's a secret operation. How do you expect me to go? With an assault team and full plate armor and a bugler? Relax. I'm no rookie. And I got a few things up my sleeve. No doubt. Meaning? <laughs> no matter. Have a good time today. Enjoy your freedom. And maybe tomorrow I'll serve you Javits balls on a platter. Promise? They say you're holding a salamander prisoner. Maybe we are. What's it to you? Well, I wouldn't mind knowing. You'll get no information out of me or my men. Fuck you, Vincent. See ya. So you're saying I shouldn't go to the warehouses at night. Just want to clarify. You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm, 
good quality gear. Don't touch my stuff, your grubby little fingers. I'm taken out of your barrel. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, why would it put the steel sword there? Alright, now we gotta start making sacrifices. For food, I would drop drinks. The goat's milk, the milk, and milk. Take that. Cool. Alright. Do you have anything else, Jethro? It's a damn it, strong. What's strong? None of your business. I just. <laughs> Man's doing a little, uh, little, little crack. Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. Not so green, I don't know the best way to take fist tag. Fold back your skin and rub. Where? Where you can fold back your skin, Jethro. <laughs> if you buy fist tag from <laughs> Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't oh, say that, I sent you. <clears throat> that sounds awful. <laughs> I have questions. Ask. Uh, put a war on the professor. If Foltest put a reward on the Professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamanda badges taken from dead bandits. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you, but the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. It's <laughs> one more question. Ask. Know anything about this salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> the captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help. <laughs> See ya. You know what? Sorry I don't carry fist tech on me. I'll be back. Alright, so they already gave us... We gotta check out Taller's. We gotta check out fucking... The captain and the guards at midnight. And the warehouses. We gotta check out... um. Oh god, what was that thing? There's the swamp to go to. I'm sorry, puppy. Get the fuck back here. <laughs> Just run so I can stab you in the back. Oh, Taller's house. That's nice. Yeah, we gotta kill six of these. Deport puppies. You know what? Let's visit Taller. Because this is where the silver sword came from. I should probably say if it's been a minute. You know, yeah, you got stuff. I like stuff. God damn it. Dude, this sucks. Alright. Fine. I'm pretty sure Taller lets you buy and sell stuff. I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Uh, yeah. Let me do this first. All right, it turns out he doesn't buy most of our stuff. So, we'll so <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I don't know if we want to piss him off. I feel like maybe if we drink with him first, whatever. Let me explain to me why the guards tolerate you. <laughs> That's confidential. You need to know how to take care of yourself. Take care? Both the bastard guards and the arse loving thieves need me. That's real art, Witcher. I have deals with everyone, and that makes me untouchable. Right. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? The city guards found a Witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. <laughs> Second, why do you care? Another Witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. 
meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. How did you get Berenger's... Oh, Stubborn shit. ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. <laughs> Ever... Daddy'd want to talk to you. Man named Coleman. It's like the third guy. You gamble? I'm an absolute fucking care to play. Got bull Try me. Better believe I fucking will. Even now. God damn. I'll find you later. I I think I think the salamander thing would piss him off. So I wanna. I wanna say I wanna do the so dice and then we'll do the drinking and then we'll try and ask about salamander. I feel like that's the best order of operations here. Ooh, full house. Good roll. Dude, look at all these quests. We're just getting updated constantly. He just folded. He didn't even want it. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I'm pretty sure Taller has, like, the highest base bets around. Which makes sense, because... Oh, well, now he rolls a full house. Alright, well, we've got a much better chance. We've got a one-third chance here of winning this, and our full house would be non-existent, as we did not get in, and we lose. Yeah, okay, it said he is rolling, and I was like, why the... I guess he could have just kept the three of a kind and rolled the others. Two pair. What's he get? One, three, three, four, six. Okay. Pair of threes against my multitude. We're going for the full house. One third. <sighs> it's two times, two times. Okay, no full house though. Er, sorry, no three of a kind. It's three of a kind would have smoked us. All right, let's try the drinking now. I hope you like beer, cause I just want to get rid of all this beer. Oops. All right, number six. Come on, buddy. Well, number seven, all right, taller. Taller drinks, bro. Taller gets drunk. All right, we're gonna, I guess I do have a bottle of wine I could use if he somehow takes 10. Oh my God. I didn't think, uh, this is our lap. Dude, stop. Just stop. I'm gonna black out. We're gonna get the Geralt blacks out. Drinking with you is a fucking treat. I'll show you something interesting. No, I shouldn't. I found a book. Redanian Intelligence. A History. Everybody thought this damned scroll had disappeared. Tyler, get the oh, no. fuck back here, you son of a bitch. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss-swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? <laughs> Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Beringer's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. That's some sound logic. Berengar's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. That's believable. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. 
So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Dijkstra, a spy. <laughs> Dog's balls. What a clever analysis. If you figure it out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. It's the way he talks. So okay, now I need to rest because I'm fucking drunk as shit. And ho okay, good. We leveled up. Do we get silver talents yet? Please, God, give me a silver talent. No. Nope. All right. Well, let's upgrade our silver because now we're gonna be fighting monsters. Wait till noon. Easy. Yeah, next we're just gonna go damage, damage, damage again. So now we're actually gonna be fighting monsters, and now we do have both swords. So we have the option. Alrighty. It is day, so we will not be killing dogs. <laughs> but we still do need like five more dogs. Ooh, new antiquary. What do you want? Wise dwarves are rare. Oh. I only see witchers, but still don't stare. Want to see my stock? I don't know why. I don't know why Geralt said that. That was extremely rude. For... <laughs> All right. Well, we literally just read every single one of these books. The only thing we didn't read is this one because it's a recipe. And it's just for a bomb, and honestly. I don't even really care about bombs. So yeah, we bought everything and then we sold it back. We came in with 4K and we're walking away with about 700. I'm feeling under the. What is up, you need peasant trader? Where did you get milk? There's a quarantine. I've seen no cows. I lived in the country and I have my ways. I have my ways. Hey, buddy, you need milk? I, I know. I got a milk guy. High quality. Ugh. I hate all these one space foods. Honestly, I think I should rely more on potions than on foods. So I'll keep the stacks, but I'll sell all the little stuff. Are you food or endurance? Your food. Okay. How much are you selling? Sure. I'll buy that. 90, yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make a bunch of potions once we rest somewhere. Because I didn't have Trinkets, to. What are you Jewelry, ladies' apparel, precious stones. What use are your goods? If you need no jewelry yourself, what of others? They're excellent gifts and worth three times the gold. See what you got. I'm just kidding. You're here to buy my shit. Gold gloves. I don't know why, but my brain... My brain is just telling me. Hmm. I don't even think they're here. Okay. The Escalopian snake. I'd love to meet the fool who associated skin shedding with medicine. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was the Greeks with uh, Apollo. Protect yourself from the plague! How do I do that? Cover your nose and mouth with a piece of flax cloth. What? Wrap your gob and the plague might not claim you. Thank God I am immune to infectious disease. No mask. Herbs, ointments, flowers for the ladies. Greetings. You look pale. I have medications for an instant cure. My prices are reasonable. Where do you gather your herbs? If I told, I'd be reduced to beggary and never have a new shawl. Choose what you want and no mischief. A shawl, you say? If only I hadn't just sold. You know what, lady? I will be right back. What? Man, how much is this thing worth? 200? Oh my god, I'm getting robbed here. What? Do Where? If I oh yeah, here's your new shawl. Old and gray, but foolish as ever. What? These bitches. These bitches, bro. What can I. Is there like a different shot? Silk sco oh. oh, that's like a trash one. Okay. I'll buy her. Wait, this one's 50. This one's worth a fourth the price. This better not be what she wants. Where if I. I go to the swamp and gather herbs. You try to give night. someone diamonds, and they ask you for silver. Danger lurks. 
I wouldn't be alive if I weren't careful. Don't be so sure. Mishandle the wrong herb and before you know, the poison's in you. Suddenly you're foaming at the mouth and the swamp claims another. No need to scare me. I'm no competition. Thanks for directions. Ointments! Herbs and spices! That damn lady. Alright. Let's go check out Vivaldi's place. I don't know if... I don't know if Coxdean really has anything to say to you right away. But he does have a lot of stuff. Oh, alright. Finally, the Witcher Geralt answers my call. We meet again. I need your help again. With what? A grave matter. Something that could prove a milestone in alchemy. Connected to your profession, too. Tell me more. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. You had a job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Vizima. A princess up top, dragon below? Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. In short, it breeds monsters? Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher, and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 orins to whoever <laughs> helps me get inside. Man's paying. I'll see what I can do, though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Ran St. Alvaro's The Secret Gates and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention, a crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, disintegrating your being into billions of pieces that travel beyond the time-space curve. And what? then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. I wish the game had that. Sometimes when you use mm. it, you would just, like, spawn and immediately fall over dead. You got any books I haven't read? No, I'm on top of it. Oh, wait, scroll? No, scroll? Doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. Off to Vivaldi's. We gotta talk to him about two things now. Let me in. What do you want? Greetings, dwarf. Racial segregation with the first words uttered. <laughs> what do you want me to call you? Bah! You're like everyone else. Like the whole accursed city. Vizima humans get everything we get not. I neither live in Vizima, nor am I human. What then? A witcher. A mutant. Well, in that case, sorry. I'm Golan Vivaldi. My cousin Vimy Vivaldi once met a witcher. A debt collector, apparently. I'm Geralt, and I'm no debt collector. What brings you here? Uh... I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? I have several suspects, not only dwarves. What do you want? I've got my eye on you. Come back when you stop talking crap. I want to discuss Salamandra. Why? The professor's bail money came from your bank. You offend me deeply with this slander. But... Generations of Vivaldi's built this bank, and you suggest our gold serves criminals? Out! 
I believe you. Nothing but a pile of suspicions. I have to assume you're clean for now. You've rejected racial prejudice and realized the truth. When you discover the true culprit, you tell me. I'm curious who it is. <laughs> racial segregation within the first words. What? Beautiful. Do you have a copy of the secret gates? I do, but I'm unwilling to part with it. I insist. Just give me a price. So be it. How much? 100? Oh, he has both of them. Okay. What? Not an- Oh my god, are you serious? We don't have- oh. Alright, I literally- I went back to, um, Coxstein's house. And then I, uh, I just- I sold all the Vargas skulls and, like, some of my bomb materials. To have exactly 300, so we have zero gold now. But we got the two books right away for Coxstein. Boop. Boop. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. About the tower. Yes? I have new information on the tower. Tell me quickly. Before this tower, the mage erected two others, but both collapsed. This one served as his house and lab. I knew that. Anything more? The mage lived there until he disappeared, most likely dead. He constructed clay golems that served him, but hardly seemed a major achievement. That would agree with the legends of the sentry. There are ten cornerstones involving the elements and threads of fate from which all this was born. Sephiroth! So the old scrolls are true! One book contained hints of the stone's whereabouts. We must find all ten Sephiroth. I own one of them, Chokma, the Stone of Wisdom. Chokma, well my dick. To find the I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Near the tower, you'll find a circle of stone obelisks. When you have all ten Sephiroth, place them on the obelisks. Ah, so close. What a breakthrough. I'll abolish the theory of those stuffy professors in Oxenfort. I'll destroy them, smash them. Kalkstein, don't get worked up until I find the stones, which won't be easy. The information in these books is murky at best. Sorry, could you show me these books? I'll make notes for you. Here. There you are. That formula Jeez. needs okay. thinking. Alright, lots of stuff. Let's check our quests. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Alright. <laughs> Where are we going next? Next, let's go to... We could go to the Hairy Bear, or we could go to the hospital. The elder races inhabit this district. Dwarven craftsmen and yep. elven artists. What's up, gossip? Hello, stranger. Greetings. I heard Rivia is ruled by a wise and strong queen. She was once beautiful, but was wounded during the war. Now her face is scarred. You're worldly. Modern <laughs> women need knowledge of the world. So worldly, babe. I'm sure. What would you like to know? You're so intelligent. Have you heard news of a witcher in town? Yes. Reputed to be the White Wolf. A dog for sorceresses. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. He fancies women with or without magical abilities. How do you know? We're good friends. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to know? I have a problem. Your secrets are safe with me. You've got a beautiful smile. That's very kind, but you mentioned a problem. <laughs> Have you heard news of a witcher in town? Yes. Tell me something. What would you? Have you? Yeah. He f if it's. What are you? I'm with. They won't. Some. What would you Have you heard news of a witcher in town? Yes. Reputed to be the White Wolf. A dog for sorceresses. He fancies women with or without magical abilities. If you were more handsome, I Damn. wouldn't mistake you for him. It's hard living up to a legend. What do you mean? 
I'm Witcher Geralt of Rivia. They won't believe this. Give me a gift I can show my friends. Some sort of frock? Great idea. Uh, my golden gloves. Yes. That's lovely, Witcher. I'm glad you like it. Now I must see the white wolf in all his splendor. Come with me. Huh? Oh. You're a hoe. Why are you holding a feather duster? Is that... Am I... Am I naive? Am I, uh... Am I a fool? How strange! Alright, whatever. We are fucking broke. Boot black, I'll come talk to you later. Merchant, please What's let me this? sell things. Are you the one Siegfried spoke of? Siegfried, the knight from the sewers? It is you! That cockatrice troubled us for ages. I heard it was a hard fight. She was young and fell quickly. What's your business? Will you sell me your wares? Siegfried's friends are always welcome. If you want to buy something, speak to my apprentice. I handle forging and special orders. Bye. Cool. Greet you this so, can I have as Yeah, just let me sell stuff. Care to relax a little, handsome? Only a little. Depends. I'm open to suggestions. Let's talk. All right. We'll chat. But I'm counting on more. Surprise me. We know so <laughs> little about love. It's like a pear, sweet and shapely. But try describing that shape without saying pear. Take an oval, smush in the top, leave the bottom fat. I'm no poet, but I can tell a peach when I see one. <laughs> Try showing me. Not so fast. We just met. You are literally a hooker. Many girls like you working in Vizima? Plenty, but I'm the prettiest. No doubt. Nice to see you. Any work for a witcher? Some men are troubling my girls. Take care of it and we'll compensate you generously. I'll see what I can do. Where can I find these men? There are three places they frequent at night. Mark them on my map. Okay. This is the same... Okay, yeah. Same stuff. The hairy bear. Who's there? Just a witcher. Just? Geralt, greetings. Yo. What happened? A show of force. They smashed a window and packed three bolts in Coleman's gut. Used dispersive bolt heads. A Havkar speciality, and highly illegal. Who killed him? Damn Scoyato. No Coleman's folk dead? will call him a good man, saying how he helped old ladies. A sense of pogrom approaching. The damn shits threw up a list of enemies, and they've begun eliminating them without regard for the consequences. Why Coleman? Anger? Revenge? Some elven youth probably overdosed. A note on one of the bolts read, White Death Trader. He was selling Fistech to kids. Cheaper than anyone else. And you know how addictive it is. I'm surprised they acted in town. They feel strong now they've got arms. Some fool did business with them. I suspect Haran Brog. What terrible times. Fragmenting tip. Enters the stomach as one. Exits the back as three. Mincing the internal organs. Hawker's specialty. Useless against armored soldiers, the tips burst on the surface of even the lightest armor. They're used to kill civilians, for show, as a cruel warning. I know where the weapons that killed Coleman came from. I need to avoid those situations, remain neutral, not get involved. Dude. Let me have a sniff. Dude, I was so confused. What's this? I talked so The dealer is dead, shot point near. blank. Those that don't kill what if you can kill the ox? Dude. I okay, I realize I have never um I've never given the elves the stuff for Heron Brog's quest. I've never actually given 
given the elves the equipment. So, I, I was so confused when I walked in and he was dead. Alright, let me do all this fighting. I'm itching to it someone. That's seventy five arons. I'm in. All right, bitch. All right, butter bean, little man. Damn, dude's throwing haymakers out here. Did we just trade? Oh, we didn't trade because he parried. He parried wall, smacking me in the face. That's skill. That's how this dude's the king of the shitty part of Vizima. Doink. Alright, give me my money. Alright, we have some money to play Gwent now. I'm saying double. I win. Choose two bottles of Mandrake Cordial, a golden necklace, or 150 orans. See, Mandrake is like the best, um... The gold. It's one of the best arms. potion bases, but um, I already bought a good chunk of that earlier, so I'd rather have some money. Uh, let's talk to Zoltan, I guess. Which one? Zoltan Chive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? Holy shit. I've won a few poker rounds already. Congratulations. You're a virgin no more. Now you'll play for real. I actually got laid twice today, too. Where do I find these famed Zeman poker players? Where you find all other things illegal. Near the hairy bear. This might get interesting. Don't be surprised if someone doesn't want to play with you. Real bigwigs will only deal with professionals. And a professional is? One who wins at least four professional games. Do that and you'll be welcome at every table. I need to beat four professionals. Breeze. <laughs> I'll buy some cheap powder. Find customers. As a... Yeah? I'm looking for work. Monsters are threatening the landing in the swamp. Everyone keeps complaining. Who should I talk to about ridding them of the danger? Contact Luvarden. He's usually on the dike, supervising the loading and unloading of goods. Thanks, Sultan. Yes? <laughs> so much. Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. That explains a lot. Really? Who's the richest person in Vizima's temple quarter? Used to be Vivaldi, but now Declan Luvarden's your man. Yeah, it's the, the dude from uh, school. outside the village. Beautiful analogy. Thanks. We buried his yes? friend. Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos. From actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? <laughs> the right of witchers to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits. 
But no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witchers exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Damn. Thanks, Sultan. That was some philosophy. <laughs> All right, he had one more thing to talk about. Yes? How are you doing? Ever considered marriage, Geralt? My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Infertility, incessant risk, travel. Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. Go on. Dude. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. She dwarves are so desirable. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Hardly something to laugh about. Farewell. Alright, cool. How many quests did we pick up today? Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we had another one because Coleman. So like 21 quests. Dude, oh my god. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's still a few more to pick up. But yeah, whatever. I'm going to drop it here. We'll probably knock out a ton of these in the next episode. But we're also going to have to pick up a few more and talk to a few more people. Because we haven't even been to the swamp yet. But whatever. That's going to do it for episode 6 of The Witcher 1. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a nice day. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Alright, I'll see you guys.